have a 6 liter and a 4 liter cylindrical jug. Both the jugs don't have any measurement lines. How will you measure 1 liter using only these two jugs if you can fill both the jugs only once? You can transfer water from one jug to another only once. You can empty any one of the jugs only once. You would have seen similar questions involving measurement jugs, 5 liters and 3 liters, where you are able to measure various other measurements like 2 liters, 1 liters by filling and emptying the jugs. Although this question looks very similar, it's not possible to do it with the same approach. Anyway, let's re-establish the same by trying it out using the same approach once. By emptying and transferring water from one jug to another, you can measure 2 liters in this case. How do you do that? By filling 6 liters first, then emptying this into 4 liters jug. The left out volume in 6 liters is now 2 liters. The same, if I mathematically write it or mathematically model it using linear equations, I get the equation as 6x minus 4y is equal to 2. You know x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is a solution. So for that solution, RHS goes to 2. And this basically means that if we fill the 6 liter of jar and empty it to 4 liter, the negative sign means empty into 4 liters, we are left out with 2 liters in the 6 liter jar. Thus we are able to measure 2 liters using just a 6 liter and a 4 liter jar take into account all the constraints which are given to you in the question. Let's now make a similar equation and see if we can measure the 1 liter using this. So how, what will the equation look like? It will be 6x minus 4y equal to 1. This equation, as you can observe, does not have a natural number solution and hence the most common answer any aspirant gives to the interviewer is that this is not possible. Yes. The answer is impossible if you try to think like an engineer or a student of mathematics. Now for a moment, take your math hat off and try thinking without any biases. Without the measuring lines, is it possible to measure the quantity of water in a jug? Agreed, all quantities are not possible. But is it possible to measure 50% of the quantity? Let's imagine the 6 liter jug from which I am draining out the water. The water starts draining out and the level of water starts making sharper angles with the wall of the jar. At a particular point, the surface of the water makes an angle with the sides of the jar such that the side view is a right angle triangle. How much quantity of water will have drained out when the level of water is diagonal to the jar wall? As it is clear from the screen, this will happen when 50% of the water has drained out. And the jar has 3 liters of water now. I can mathematically prove this by using the triangle congruence properties. Now fill the 4 liter jar and transfer water into 6 liter jar, which now only has 3 liters. 4 liter jar will end up having 1 liter left and you have your solution. The solution to this problem is completely lateral. And this is a typical question which can be thrown at you if the interviewer wants to catch you off the guard. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.